Hey guys, what is going on? This is Larknock1, and welcome. Today, we will be playing Civilization Beyond Earth for the third and final time before the vanilla game gets updated to Rising Tide, the expansion. Now, if you guys have been with me so far, you know that I like to play this game in a slightly more, uh, I guess, strategically oriented sort of way. Um, I come from the mindset that if like you're going to make a let's play of a game, you really ought to do... Um, a solid attempt, you know, y you need to be better than 85-90% of the people that are playing this game, because I don't think anybody wants to watch a let's play of some guy dinking around and not making obvious choices, and uh, I can't promise to be playing, like, supremely optimally, but I think, like, I like to play creatively, and it, it works out for the most part. At any rate, uh, this is going to be our third journey into the deep black, um, this time around, uh, I appealed to voters to basically determine how I'm going to be playing this, and what basically the results are, at least in the making of this video, are that um, I will be playing on Apollo. Now, I wanted to play on Apollo Legacy Plus, but you guys wanted to see me, uh, you know, struggle and die, so here we go. Um, Mods-wise, uh, I'm going to be running larger ultimate units. Uh, this is a great mod. It shows up rarely, if ever, but, you know, if it does, it's cool. Uh, let's run Immersive Armies as well. Super cool mod. And Men of War version 2. And I think that's about it. We don't have this guy enabled today because we're going to be playing on Apollo. So, by request, I'm going to be playing a Harmony game. So, I might need to reset my start a couple times to kind of fix it to make sure it's a Harmony game. Um, and in that case, you'll just have to bear with me. Uh, because that's just a chancy thing, you know? At any rate, uh, let's go ahead and set this game up. So, uh, I could do the advanced setup, but you know, for now, I'll just stay in the standard setup here. So, if I'm going to be playing on Apollo with mostly knowledge and might, you know? That's kind of a death sentence. Um, knowledge and might are not meant to be the best virtue trees, uh, at least the way the balance is set up right now. They're not they're not the best. I love knowledge to pieces. Um, I've, I've tried to do so many creative things with it, and I feel like I've pushed it to some of its like upper boundaries, uh, but it's just not as good as prosperity or industry. So for the most part, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to just like play it at the supremely optimal level if we're even gonna have a chance at Apollo. Um, so for that, we're gonna need something that kind of helps culture out a little bit. Um, because you do get a lot of free virtues, kind of, but it's like, the way that knowledge tends to work is you're, you're, you're getting virtues to get more virtues. And so if that number is not enough, it doesn't really tend to pay out. So some of the options we could do here are Franco-Iberia, which is really good, I think, in very specific playstyles. Most playstyles, it's not too good. Uh, Playstyle is really good. I really like it in industry, um, but again, we're not really playing in industry play. Uh, the Cavithan Protectorate is always amazing. Um, Brasilia not so much, and I won't be playing with any of the ones I've already done Let's Plays of, so the PAC and African Union. Um, even though, you know, the African Union would be easily the best option for trying to pull out an Apollo victory. Um, which I can't guarantee. Chances are, we may, I may lose. <laughs> uh, again, the ARC is not too good right now. Um, the Slavic Feds are horrible until they get changed. Um, so I think it's really the, the Cavithan Protectorate or Franco-Iberia. And it really, it, it'll boil down to kind of what I'm most comfortable with. I kind of tend to feel that the Cavithan Protectorate is really good, um, more so than a lot of people think. It's it's really good. So it's it's mostly the um, acquiring tiles that's so obscenely good, but then the outpost growing really quickly isn't bad either. It's just like the cities are active like three or four turns earlier, so... Franco-Iberia could be part of, like, a heavy culture play. I wouldn't be opposed to that. Uh, but if we are going Harmony, you know, we don't have so, so much culture. See, the thing is, if I go Franco-Iberia, I have to go Artists. Whereas if I go the Cavithan Protectorate, I could go, like, a more production-oriented uh, mindset. I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to go with the Cavithan Protectorate. I like the KPs. They're nice. Uh, in that case, we're going to be going with our engineer build here. Uh, this is to kind of synergize well with kind of a knowledge opener. You get the early science, you unlock some of the technologies that, you know, 
give you access to those early production buildings. You use your plus two production in your city to get those production buildings out quickly, and boom, bam, you have just like way more production than anybody else, just that much faster. Um, Spacecraft-wise, again, what's critical to this is the electromagnetic sensor. Um, this is pretty much the identical uh, build as before that I did in my last Let's Play with the African Union. Um, but you guys requested, you know, uh, a knowledge might build, so that's what I'm going to give you. All right, cargo-wise, um, the only two options are really machinery and cryotome. So the question is, uh, which, right? So cryotome, you get your virtues a little bit faster, and you're always pretty much one virtue ahead. It is a completely free virtue. It's not just like 20 culture at the beginning of the game. It means that it doesn't ever increase... Um, the cost of all future virtues, which is very good, uh, but machinery is just that is just that good. Um, I like cryotome as a part of industry builds because I feel like industry is limited by sort of its ability to get uh, eudaimonia, um, not eudaimonia. What am I? What am I saying? Magnasanti, just that much faster, and it does get get you it that much faster. So I like that, um, but not in knowledge might. We need the worker. Okay, so here's where we go to the advanced setup, and we play around. We we rinky dink. Map type. We're just gonna set it to, uh, I believe, protein. Yeah, protein. There we go. Standard. Yep, that's the hardest. Map terrain. We'll randomize that guy and Apollo. Great. I'm ready to die. All right. So as far as these guys are concerned, we're gonna disable contact like I always do. I don't like it. I, it just comes quickly, it's chancy, um, like, I could theoretically, you know, use knowledge's expeditions and crazy amounts of explorers to, you know, get a crazy, like, contact piece out of the Promethean ruins, and then, like, you know, pray that I, that a bunch of other things fall in line, and I get, like, an incredibly fast win. I don't think that's fun. I, I really don't. Um, and then into the advanced game options here, we're going to disable quick combat and leave quick movement on. That's what I like to do. Alrighty, let's go ahead and start this game. Again, fair warning, uh, I might have to reset a couple times. Um, this is this is just because we'll need a harmony bias start, um, which isn't you don't always get that right. It's like one in three, especially on Apollo. It's going to be critical, but yeah, we definitely need a harmony bias to start. So that that to me means uh, a xenomass within like two tiles of the capital city. That needs to happen. If it's like a higher yield xenomass, all the better. I mean, I've had capitals with two xenomass. Well, fracks it over here, but you know, maybe if I land on this side of the river, I'll get something cool. So there's a river here, not bad. You know, grassland's not, not bad either. So if you could go over here, you get access to the chitin. All this stuff. Um, where would my production be coming from? Nowhere. This has like no hills. This is all flat. I don't typically like that. Hills are my best friend. I love them. Uh, we're gonna land over here and see see what's good. Let's see if we can't get our little KP guys right there. Oh, I just love. Oh my goodness, I love this immersive armies mod. Well, I'm not seeing any Xenomass, but we're going to check over there, and then... Don't we only have one turn to really, like, know? Alright, so I'm going to reset. Unfortunately, I believe you only have one turn to restart the game. Uh, after that, the restart option is gone, and you have to reload your turn zero save, and then hit restart, which is a pain in the butt, and we're not going to do that. So this is highly, like, save scummy. But, um, you know, at the highest level play, especially when you're going for Knowledge Might, you gotta be a little save scummy at the beginning, a little bit. And especially when uh, I'm trying to force this into a Harmony play. Show you guys some good old Harmony strats. Well, there's a Xenomass. Three. Not bad. Um, lots of forests. River, Miasma, hill right there. Fair quantity of hills, honestly. Not so much down here, and I'm looking at desert down there. Fruit over here. Well, I'm gonna try landing here. Or what's best? Here or there? Well, this is closer to all these grasslands, so I think this tile's probably better. 
Let's go ahead and land there. Oh, and the Xenomass is incidentally uh, a nest, you know? Great. Thanks, game. Alright, so we're gonna blast those guys. Nests on turn one. Dude, Immersive Armies is so beautiful. There's just so many aliens and units. It's just great. Okay, so what do we want to do here? We got our worker here. We could move him down onto these fibers. And would that be crossing the river? It would be. It would be. Um, so we wouldn't be able to improve the fiber right away. We are working the fiber, though. Improving it would add production, but not food. Um, that might be fine, actually, though. So, you know, we're going to focus that first. Let's get our explorer. Uh, we can move him here. I kind of want to take out the nest as early as possible, especially on Apollo. It's not a good idea to keep those things around for too long. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the old Earth Relic. It's a must-have. And here, we're going to want chemistry. Again, the plan is to use our expeditions. Did we get lucky with them at all? Uh, they're mostly away from us. It's not a good sign. Um, there's quite a few over here, though. Not a bad quantity, you know, four. With good luck, we could get the progenitor ruins, but it, it looks like if these are all, like, on a different coast, because I'm seeing coast right here, um, this could be hard to get to, which could be a serious problem. But um, let's go ahead and go next turn. We did get the fungal biome, which is interesting. I haven't played with that in a very long time. We might be able to kill this nest this turn, which is very good news. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. It's important to take nests out before they spawn like 8 million units. Um, yeah, it's very important. Okay, so let's go ahead and build a plantation and keep on rolling. So what we're going to want to do with this guy is uh, probably send him to this close derelict settlement first, or I could go long for the progenitor ruin right away. Uh, that's not a bad idea. So you know what we're going to do is send him back to the to Mandira. We'll have him heal up and send him right for that progenitor ruin as soon as physically possible. I really want to gun it to the priority stuff. Random Manticore. We took out the nest. Maybe there's another? I don't know. Quest updated. I don't know, posts. Classic. Alright, so we get the KP guy over there. Hopefully, we run into some more Xenomass tiles on the way. And a nest! That's 10 Xenomass! We have our Harmony strategy. And another one up here, 3 Xenomass. There we go, Harmony we are playing. Alrighty, so in this case, we want Explorers now. Um, it's kind of critical to getting our early science. Yes! The aliens did a stupid! And now I can kill their nest. Oh, that's so, so important. Kill alien nests early in Apollo while playing Harmony is... That's critical, especially if you're playing suboptimal strategies. So let's go ahead and get our worker over here to go ahead and improve that grassland. You know, there's a Xenomass on that guy, so we could probably station for preparing for a nest, but... Another nest?! What is this?! Oh, please, AI, do not do not land here. Please, I, I need this. This is me. Uh, let's go ahead and build uh, a farm. Why not? Our worker won't die. This is insanity. It's a Masma tile. This one isn't. That's crazy. You, take it. What did I just get? Solar Collector? Thank you. Solar collectors are good. I like them. And we will go to the Regenerator Ruin. That is so many nests we just took out. We're at like a large influx of energy right away. Uh, we're going to tell this guy to sleep until we hit a critical number of probably like five population and a good number of these grassland rivers improved. So this isn't bad. I mean, it's forests to start out, but these are grasslands. So this will all come to a pretty high food yield pretty quickly. Uh, Virtue-wise... We're going to start with Knowledge and then go into Might. Um, so let's go ahead and grab Foresight right away. We're going to want to get Field Research relatively soon. Um, eight turns, it looks like. So we may want to just sit on this Progenitor Ruin for a second. Yeah, we're going to sit on it until it looks like this will match up just right. 
and we'll have field research ready, like the turn before we get the expedition. I actually want one more explorer. I want to have three, uh, just in case. We could also have one monitoring these uh, Xenomass tiles. That's often really, really important um, to ensure that, you know, you get those those cities and nests don't literally impede your ability to expand there for, like, eons. All right, so what's this? Six turns. Five turns on that. All right, we're going to sit on it one more turn. Oh, Old Earth Relic quest this early. That's very good. Let's get our culture. And that brings us to just five turns. We could probably start the expedition now. I'm just going to wait one more turn to be absolutely certain. And our first neighbor dropped down. That's pretty good distance. But it is the uh, Kozlov. So that's not too good. Uh, he's a pretty expansionist kind of military type. Let's go ahead and ensure that we grab that derelict settlement. And look, another Xenomass. It's very good. So we want to go ahead and start our expedition now. Uh, we got five turns on the clock. And we'll start this expedition next turn as well. So this worker has finished the farm here and is pretty damaged. Um, I could probably send him over here to get working. There's no miasma here and he can start chopping down that forest. It's going to be fairly important. Uh, alternatively, I could just get him building a grassland, sorry, another farm right away. That might be more important. Getting your food up early as opposed to just kind of like investing. Uh, super important, especially that, you know, first three farms, very, very important. Let's make sure all this stuff's being worked. Yeah. Not bad ideas at all. Oh my goodness, I can't even with all this Xenomass. I'm gonna make such power cities. And another neighbor. Uh, looks like pretty far away. Doesn't really look like a threat to any of this. African Union. Iska Waran, the African people greet you. And perfect eagles here, where to send you? We definitely want to send them out here, where the rest of these guys are. We could also have him kind of like sit around here, make sure none of these nests pop up and get too strong. Um, and at this point, it's probably wise to invest in a second worker uh, to catch up with the fact that we build all those explorers. Um, the clinic, probably not too useful. Um, yeah, I think that second work is just really important. We have all these, uh, you know, forests too, so that's another good argument for why you might want the second worker. Alright, Citadel there. Uh, that's probably good news for me. Whenever you have two militant AI right next to each other, that's good news until one of them, like, takes the other's capital at, like, turn 30, and then that's really bad news. So thankfully, no nests respawning. And let's go ahead and grab field research right now. That's going to hit us in the face with a lot of science. All right, no free affinity level. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Gave us like augmentation or something. Uh, but that gave us a lot of science points right off the bat. Let's go ahead and refocus that towards pioneering. And we're going to want to swap this worker over for a recycler. Now, can we buy a worker? No, we can't. Those are actually 270. Um, but we definitely want our recycler up soon. Uh, 10 turns is not bad, and we can get our production up higher, and then grab our trade depots. So, that's all good news. Alright, white barbarians, what to do with you? We need to send him home, of course. These guys will be doing a bit of a crisscross here. Um, I'm just going to monitor this. I'm not going to overextend. I see aliens on here, so there might be even another xenomass down there. I'm not going to push it. All right. Derelict settlement, not bad. And more free science. Fun. PAC drop down. Okay, so you need to keep getting home and you need to keep moving. Get on home then, little scamp. He's got enough health, he'll be fine. 
you zero modules, just keep going that way. We can try to get up to probably the... I like the crash satellite around now. Um, but, you know, derelict settlements are fine too. I'll probably just grab the closest one, honestly. So we finished with this farm here. Uh, I think it's time to go ahead and heal this guy up. Alternatively, we can just get him going on this forested grassland as soon as possible, or grab an early mine. Um, the early mine might not be a bad idea. Getting all these production buildings early is kind of critical. Uh, gets, let us get our second worker out fast and all the rest. Hmm. Well, that's what I'm going to go for, actually. We do have the three workers. Ooh, we have many citizens now. We can probably launch the solar collector without much repercussions. Right in the center there is not a bad spot. In fact, it's quite good. Let's go ahead and launch. Bring our energy up significantly up to 12. And you need to get home. Another nest! Speak of the devil! Well, the devil is speaking. Well, that is a forest, so the alien won't be able to move and double attack me. I'll, at worst, I'll get hit once. That is an upper coastline, too, so this is actually blockading. This is a short passageway into here. I might need to back off and go around. I kind of want to see if I can grab the resource spot first, though. Uh, fighting sensitive. How much HP do you have left? 30? Alright, you're gonna be fine. Another thing of the strategy that's very critical to know when to do is uh, go ahead and back off. Um, sorry, to kill your explorers. So I might want to back off here, but oh boy, I could get the resource pod. I don't. It's probably not worth it. I'm gonna go around. Yeah, let's go around. This place would be swarming with aliens if our first explorer didn't absolutely clear it. Um, in that case, let's go ahead and move you over here, and we can get the worker on top of you. This worker needs to get back. Alright, sorry, explorer. So that was a little dangerous. Um, there's no two ways totally about it, though. Um, this alien will blockade us if he if he puts a zone of control on us, but we, we should be able to get away if we just get lucky enough for him not to advance on us, like while the worker's right there. Best case scenario, we just take out the, uh, the nest, honestly. So let's go ahead and build a mine here, and we can get our next expedition module and heal up. And we can get this guy here-ish and have him heal up. He'll just grab an expedition module next. So a bit of a military force over here wouldn't be a horrible idea. How may the corporation serve you? Alright, ARC just landed. The universe is either in progress or in entropy. And pioneering is here. Alright, so the aliens pushed up against me, rather than backing off. That's not good. So I'm gonna move this guy back this way. And, oh boy. There's the African Union Explorer come to sweep up all of our expeditions. Fun. There's not much more for us to do. We, like, by the time we get down to these regions, they'll all be gone. And there weren't many progenitor ruins on this map, to be honest with you. There was like two. Normally there's like four or five. I don't really understand that. Um, alien skeletons can often be just as good, but yeah, none of those either. Not really. Huh. We might want to try our luck going this way. We could probably grab like one or two from these guys. Because this doesn't look good until the military is involved. Alright, so we grabbed pioneering and chemistry. So now the question is, what comes after? Ecology is not a bad option. You can remove miasma early. Uh, you get vivariums going. Engineering is really good, though. So is physics if we want to do a little bit of a military push early. That'll be a strain on our economy, though. So, um... How about... You know, planetary survey would allow us to cross that water and get to those guys and get extra, you know, science virtues earlier. Um, science virtues. Technologies. Why did I forget that word? Jeez. I'm gonna go with the Vivarium. I think it's classic. I like that one, two, three. Please, aliens, just back off. I mean no harm, except where I mean complete harm. The KP borders grow so quickly. 
they are so well fit to deal with like xenomass tiles just because they'll grow onto them that quick but that looks like the limit of the or uh, the time limit sorry on the first episode guys so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next time if you like this video please go ahead and give it a thumb up and uh, comment below on you know how I'm doing, what you think I could be doing better. If you've enjoyed this series so far, if you're excited for this new planet, look at all these Xenomass tiles. And go ahead and subscribe, guys, because I will be uploading content like this every single day. In fact, you should see an episode of this series every day. Well, until next time, guys. Take care.